It's time for a daily dose of victory, even if it's just a minute with the pastor. Hey, I'm Pastor Thomas with the pastor of Victory This is another daily dose of victory on the subject, Roll the Stone Away, dealing with the book of Matthew. But I want to encourage you to say, listen, we got three days before Resurrection Sunday. That's, the Bible said that Jesus was in the tomb for three days. I, I'm telling you right now, it's time to roll the stone away today and begin to, to rise up in three days. That's right. Whatever you're going through, whatever fear, I mean, I want you to deal with supernatural faith. That means that you're saying, Pastor, I'm dealing with an illness. I'm dealing with a mental situation. I'm dealing with a financial situation. I'm dealing with an emotional situation. I'm dealing with me. And begin to declare with me in agreement. In three days, I'm going to resurrect out of this. I'm going to rise up. This as well as Jesus rose up with all power in his hand and he began to declare who he is and began to walk this earth, walk this land with power and signs and wonders following him by connecting with the Father. I want you to connect with God. That's right. Roll that stone away and connect with God and in three days, Sunday morning, come and join me 8, 11, and 530 and see that that you thought was quicksand. That that you thought in your life was pulling you down for the last time. You will see the strength of God raise you up and walk you out of it and say, I have all power in my hand. That's right. You have all power for your education. You have all power for your destiny, all power for your purpose. You can change where you are by changing you first. There was something happened in that tomb that did something to God that made sure that when he came out, when Jesus came out of that tomb, he could never go back as the carpenter's son. He could never go back as he was because when the change comes in your life, there is no way you choose to go back. Join me this weekend as we change our lives. This is the year that the kingdom meets the king.